Hey guys, welcome back to the Gratitude Incarnate Podcast. So, some quick announcements and updates for you guys. The iced tea party planning is coming along nicely. We have sent out the invitations, updated the gift registry, and I'm putting together the RSVP list. You guys, planning this baby shower for my friend Danielle brings me so much joy. It is important to do things that light us up. Later today, I will be introducing a new segment I'm really excited about. It's called I Am Grateful for Books. Um, In these segments, I will be giving you a book review for the books that I'm reading. So make sure that you hit follow on the podcast page to make sure you get updates on the podcast so you'll know when those episodes come out. Today, I want to talk to you guys about something that some people may find very boring. But the whole idea behind these segments, the Daily Divine Downloads, is that I bring you a message that I feel inspired to bring you every day and something that I'm always inspired to talk to people about is water. I'm super passionate about this subject. So as some of you know, a few years ago, I suffered from a bout of depression and through the healing process of releasing that depression, I did a lot of research on what I like to call total human optimization. Just like you need certain software or you need to close out tabs or clear out junk in a computer to optimize it, we can think of our bodies this way as well. All of the basic things that we do every day may be optimized to ensure we are living at our fullest capacity. I've learned about water, breathing, walking, the things that we sometimes take for granted every day. We can show gratitude for these blessings by learning how to expand our capacity for them. Today, we will talk about water. So many of us drink water every day to some extent. If you are already in the habit of drinking water every day, that is wonderful. If not, just remember to take baby steps and just start by drinking water now. Today, I want to dive into this topic of water a little deeper. A few years ago, I started watching this great show on Netflix called Down to Earth. The concept of this show is really cool. It is basically about how to make the most out of life on this planet. I'll be honest with you. I started watching for Zac Efron and kept watching because of Zac Efron. (laughs) But the show is really fantastic. I'll put a link in the show notes So you guys can check that out. On this particular episode of Down to Earth, Zac Efron meets with a water sommelier. Yes, an expert on types of water. I've learned so much from this episode and I love sharing what I've learned with others. We all need to drink water every day, but what's strange is that no one is really educating us on which water is best and why. So purified water and distilled water has been stripped down. This water may serve a purpose in your life, but this is not the water that I want to drink. The reason why I do not want to drink water that's labeled purified or distilled is because all of the valuable minerals have been stripped from the water. Water needs minerals. Water craves minerals, minerals like potassium, magnesium, calcium, silica. Your body needs all of these wonderful minerals. So as I said earlier, water craves minerals. Water that has been purified can draw minerals from the water in your body into itself and it leaves your body instead of nourishing your body. This is not good because this means that if you're drinking a lot of purified water, you could be creating a deficiency in the minerals in your body. I am not a medical professional, okay? Full disclaimer, I am not a water sommelier or a water expert, but I do know some of the symptoms of mineral deficiencies are decreased immune system, constipation, bloating, muscle cramping, 
loss of appetite, and there are many more. This is why water is so important in our lives. So now the question is, how do you know if the water that you're drinking is good for you? I recommend having your water tested. If you're local to Lexington or Columbia, I highly recommend a company called EPI Water. This is a locally owned family business, and let me tell you, they are passionate about water. Hiring an expert is great because they can help you every step of the way. And the best part about having them treat your water at home is the impact you're making on the environment by bottling your water at home. Just like baby steps help us in reaching our goals, reducing your carbon footprint on this planet helps us change the world. If every person on this planet took one small step, imagine what we could do. If hiring a professional is just not an option for you right now, there are many more options to learn more about your water. What we really need to know is the TDS content of the water. TDS stands for total dissolved solids. This is the mineral content of the water that you're drinking. So water from natural sources, a well, a spring, glacier, iceberg, these will have a certain amount of total dissolved solids. If you purchase bottled water, it will sometimes be listed on the label. For example, my favorite bottled water, Evian, has the mineral content listed on the label. Calcium 80, magnesium 26, potassium 1, silica 15. These are just a few listed on the label. And this is important because we know we're putting good minerals into our bodies instead of depriving them. So check your water. You can actually buy a tester that will tell you the TDS level and the pH balance of your water. It is actually very interesting to find out what is in your water. And remember, my friends at EPI, if you're local and you want an expert to tell you more about what's in your water. Okay, guys, so check out the show notes for all the links to everything I talked about today. Thank you for listening to me get nerdy about water. It is so important that we know what we are putting in our bodies, that we do it intentionally, and that we do it with gratitude. That's going to be it for today. If you have any questions or feedback, please reach out to me on Facebook at Gratitude Incarnate or on IG at Abundance Architect. Thank you for helping me share the message of having gratitude for everything in our lives, like water, something that many people don't think much about every day, especially in the United States, where there is an abundance of water, but many people take it for granted. So thank you for expressing gratitude for water today. I say cheers to that. Have a grateful day, guys, and I will talk to you a little bit later. Hey guys, I just wanted to pop back on here real quick. I know I told you that we were done, but I remembered something really cool that I wanted to share with you. So if you are local to South Carolina at all, I highly recommend checking out the Healing Springs. It's called God's Acre Healing Springs in Barnwell County, South Carolina. I'm going to put a link in the show notes as well. Um, You guys, this place is amazing. So it's a small little park. It has a couple of concrete picnic tables and it's basically just a parking lot. And when you get past the parking lot, you go to into the woods, essentially the front, the beginning of the woods. And it's sort of like a nature preserve. It's an area that's been preserved by the county. And there are essentially four Um, water spigots that um, have this spring water that comes out of them and it kind of just comes out of the spigots all day long and it goes back into um, the stream right there beside it any water that's not getting used and it's completely free to the public anybody can go there and you can get um, this natural water and they call it the healing springs for a reason because it's said that the water has healing properties and I can only personally vouch for this. So 
something really cool that happened. Um, about a year ago, I had, this part wasn't cool. I got sunburn. You know, I have very fair skin, and as much as I use sunscreen, if I'm out in the sun for too long, I just get overexposed. And it's not something that I really like to do, but it has happened sometimes. And, you guys, I was feeling so sick that evening. So, you know, sunburn, it's definitely a process that you go through and the healing process. And that night I was feeling the sickness from it. And I had recently picked up some water from the healing springs and I drank that water that night and I, it's almost unbelievable. But the next morning I woke up and I had no symptoms of sunburn. My, you couldn't tell my skin didn't look flushed. I didn't feel bad. I didn't feel the heat from the sunburn. I had none of the symptoms. So I was, I was really impressed. So since we're talking about water today, I only thought it was appropriate that I told you guys about this place. So little bonus to today's episode. Definitely if you're local, I please go check this out. I always talk to you guys like a great way to raise your vibration is getting out into nature. And this is, it's really just a magical place. So go check it out. Thanks for listening. Have a grateful day. I mean it this time. <laughs>